Hi guys, welcome back. This is uh, video four of the uh, shoe repair stuff that we're doing. Um, it's nice and sunny outside, so we've decided to do a ladies project. This lady wants a new insole and a new sole, so basically we, we're just going to have the uppers left, the two strappy uppers, but we're going to rebuild it all. Um, she's got sensitive feet and there's a little bit of cracking on the insole, so we're going to make it out of some really nice tooling leather um, and we're going to put a leather sole back on. Um, then also, a gentleman has sent some red wings down and he's done half the work for us. Um, I wouldn't normally recommend that people do this, but he's done a really good job. So he's taken the uh, white sole off and the middle sole. And uh, usually we'd replace this back with a, a, a white sole because that's, that's how you buy them. But this guy wants a, a leather middle through and then a Vibram sole. Uh, he wants that for hard wearing so it looks nice and chunky. So. Hopefully, we'll be able to get both of these projects done today. Um, just want to uh, let everybody know that we're back open for business. Um, we've, we've been trading all the way through on postal repairs, but now the shop's open again, so we're really, really pleased about that, and we're getting to see people again, so it's been lovely. Really nice experience. The last few weeks have been really busy, so I'm really relieved, and hopefully we're on our way out of this, um, this, you know, this crisis that we've all been in. It's affected everybody in different ways, but. I'm a believer in being really positive, so we're, I think we'll, we'll all be all right if we all do the right thing together. So, um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we'll uh, take both projects downstairs uh, into the workshop with the uh, where the magic happens, as you know, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Hi, guys, we've not quite made it to the uh, workshop yet. I forgot that we've got some, uh, some cutting and marking out to do, so basically, it's quite, it's quite a basic. We're going to use this uh, sandal as our template for the sole and the insole. Uh, we've got a, an extra lightweight sole to match the weight. Uh, we use, usually use a lot heavier than this for the gent stuff, but this is a lightweight sandal, so we need to match that up so it feels good for the customer. Then also, we've got a really nice big piece of tooling leather, which we're going to make the insole out of. So what I'll do is I'll look for a nice smooth part of that, obviously because you know it's a piece of natural leather. So I'll make sure that it's as smooth as possible so it's comfortable for her. So we'll just start with the, we'll start with the sole. We'll just simply mark it round. We'll cut it in, in the workshop. So we'll just cut that shape out, so we've got that template there. So now I just want a nice smooth piece of leather. It's got no growth, growth marks in it. That looks good. So we, we have to buy this um, we have to buy this in big sheets. But it comes in for all sorts of different jobs. That's it. That's great. So now we've got that basic shape. Obviously, we're going to have to cut some pieces out here for the straps, the uppers to go into. Uh, but we'll do all that inside the workshop. So, right, we'll move in into the workshop now. Okay. Okay, uh, we're in the workshop now. And we're going to start on the sandals. So what we're going to do is we've uh, we've gone round the insole and the sole. So now we're going to strip the sandal down. Okay, so to uh, separate this sole. this to remember 
the fit of the sandal so we know that that goes back to that prop that place so when we take the straps out they'll leave a mark and we'll use that as reference but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently persuade this these straps to come off as you can see it's really basic but lady really likes these uppers so just thought it'd be a bit of a different project because we do we'll do all types of work handbags repairing uh, obviously gents kids shoes leather goods so now that there we've got a template so again when we've cut this out we'll be marking these reference points and I'll be cutting them out on the cutting table so now we can uh, start and cut these insoles out I've got a nice curved top knife just helps when you're cutting Right, so that's that. Uppers, sole, insole, lift, new insole. Now uh, we'll uh, I'll cut this out, this will be a bit tougher. But if you notice what I'm doing as I'm cutting, I've got my elbow tucked into my body. That's so when that happens. I've only got that range of movement. If I've got that, I could cut myself. And so always cut with your elbows in to your body. I right, can shape that on the wheel now. Okay, so we'll move over to the machine. Okay, so we're back to the cutting table. Uh, what I'm going to do, we've roughly cut the sole and the insole. I'm going to mark round it now. You'll notice some tape on my thumb. All that talk about sharp knives and being careful and holding your arm in. I've still managed to nick myself. If you notice what I'm doing as I'm cutting, I've got my elbow tucked into my body. That's so when that happens, I've only got that range of movement. If I've got that, I could cut myself. And so always cut with your elbows in to your body. So I'm a silly man. But anyway, I'm gonna mark around this with a different pen so I can see the different line. So now I know that's real resemblance. And then these openings here for the straps to go through. I've got to mark them. Okay, so what I've got here is a tool, it's not quite wide enough, but I can just move it along. So that's cut a nice uniform shape out, so that the uppers can go back in. Perfect. Okay, great. We'll go back into the workshop now. Okay, right back in the workshop. So, by the way, this tool's called a crew punch. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, but it really makes a nice clean incision, keeps it all uniformed and neat. So, what we're going to do now is stick the sandal uppers back into uh, the insole. You can see from the straps exactly where they were, so we'll get the same fitting the lady so it's really important that we get this bit right <coughs> because this is the fit so I've just got to leave that dry I'm leaving it open so that the glue dries quicker and then we'll be able to use this lift 
as well, which is the leather lift for the heel. We've got the sole cut out, obviously that's going to go onto there. And then we'll put the lift on. And then we'll put a really nice thin top piece on as well, in rubber, so she's got a bit of cushioning and grip. But you can see now we're just putting things back together again. It's a simple process, but you know, it, you could buy another pair of sandals, but the lady likes this and it's recycling and obviously we're grateful for the work so it's it's a winner all round. Right so I'll let that dry and then we'll piece it together. I think what I'm going to do now is cut some, because she's got sensitive feet, I'm going to cushion this area so I'm going to cut some soft leather and put a pad in it so that when she puts her heel down it's, it's a lot more comfortable. Okay, brill. So I've just noticed that this padded in sock will just interfere with the upper a little bit so I'm going to cut out with a crew punch to allow that to go round ok so now that should fit into that yeah that'll be good so that works that's Brill. Next thing we'll do is we'll brand this, put the Ingman's logo on. So just wet the leather. And then I'll get the uh, I'll get the stamp ready. Okay. Right, so I'm just warming the uh, the dye stamp up. Pre-wetted the leather. Now the tricky bit is get it nice and central so it looks cool. That'll, that'll warm up really quick, but I really think this will just make it a bit more comfortable for her. There we go, now Singer's logo. Right, so we've put uh, some more glue onto the uh, the straps. So I've let that dry, let that go off. So I'm just going to reactivate the glue. And then once that's reactivated, we can tap it down and then uh, secure it. Then I can glue the whole insole up and the sole that we've cut out and move on to that next process um, of rebuilding it. It's quite nice to do a different project, something completely different to what we normally do. Right, so that's been reactivated, rewarmed up. I'm just double, triple checking that I've got it back where it should be. Um, and it looks it looks right from inside as well as outside. Yeah, that's good. So I'm happy with that. So now what I've got to do is tap it. I mean, it's going to be re-glued as well now, and then that's going to be glued, so that'll anchor it anyway, but that's already anchored in place. So let's just put a layer of glue on. Same thin layer, thin a thin down glue onto the sole. and then we'll move on. I've got some nice soft Vibram sheeting, light coloured, hard wearing but it's got a nice bit of cushioning in again. So the old time what we're trying to do is keep a new level of comfort, probably better than original <coughs> hopefully. So that's going to go on top of the lift that we've used, that we've taken off the original. So. It'll just be the straps and then that lift is the only original bit left. Right, so we've just put these to reactivate the glue so we get a nice bond. We've let them dry off, let them cure, the glue cure, so that it, we get a really good bond 
like I said earlier on in the video that you know this has got to be really secure so we, we have to make sure that we you know Im imply the uh, implement the the right drain times and stuff and then like I say we just gently reactivate the glue don't want it too hot just want it so that it's just at the right temperature so that when it on, goes on it's it's really secure I've just got to make sure that I line it up properly because if I don't I'll not be able to get it off I'll have to start again okay glue reactivated now the tricky bit That's now really nice smooth nice smooth piece of leather, we'll clean all that up inside. And now we're gonna go over to the machine and just trim all the way around, get it all nicely uniformed and then we'll we'll put the uh, mark the heel, put the heel on. Um, and it'll be close to being finished. Okay. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer. So now we're just going to let the heel in, like we do on the lens work. A nice clean line. This way we get a perfect match. This we actually use the knife on the actual heel block. If you mark it with a pen and then you try and follow it, and sometimes you don't get it exactly right, whereas this is guaranteed to be right fit. Okay, so we'll just scour it all up, but as you can see, getting closer and closer, a bit of cleaning up to do on the insole, but we're finally getting there. Okay, we've reactivated the glue, we're just gonna put the one of the final pieces of jigsaw together. I'll tap it down. Okay, that's all on. I'm happy how it's pitched. Like I say, it's nice soft hard wearing shock absorbent material for the bike, so as she's walking, she's got a good purchase on the floor. I've cleaned all the insole up. So we're now just gonna nip to the machine, finish that heel off, and then we'll put the back sock in. Uh, to give her a bit more comfort as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, heels on. Now I've just got to edge shave this top of the uh, insole. Now what we're going to do is insert the padded sock, which looks really cool. That's going to look really good and it's going to give us some comfort. Put a pad on the back. So I'll we'll just uh, mark that. Idea with this is got to do it while it's wet, so we can just move it a bit. Also, just thin that area down at the front again, just so there's no lumpiness there. Yeah, all right. Just got to polish it up, and then we'll uh, do the comparison in the uh, 
downstairs room where the cutting table is. Okay, brilliant. Final bit. Protect the edges. Polish them up. Cleaned all the uh, insole. Got rid of excess glue. Put some polish in the salt as well. Right, we'll see you in the cutting room. Okay, so this is the first part of the video complete. Um, this is the where we started with the sandal. Uh, as you can see, we took it all apart, explained in the video. But I just want to explain this stitching here. It looks like I've, well, we've not got it on this one, but this is that was just a false stitch. So it was a stitch into the insole. It wasn't stitching the sole on. And I just thought that would add to the roughness of the sole, so that's why we've not put it into the new one. So here we are, here's a comparison. Nice clean insole, all smooth, padded in sock at the back, all the uppers cleaned, and also nice leather, new leather sole with a rubber shock absorbent top piece. I'm really pleased with the result. Um, so like I say, we've got the second part of the video to come where we're going to do the red wing and put the vibrant sole on it. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to uh, like, subscribe uh, and leave comments as well. That would be great. And uh, any, if you want any projects doing, what we're doing is we're just doing different projects to show people that we, you know, we're just not one dimensional. We can do lots of different stuff with leather. So, um, yeah, that's, that's great. So uh, just... You know, if you need to get in touch with us, call us <coughs> um, on uh, at Chesterfield 01246 200 951. Go to our website, uh, ingmans.co.uk, and uh, follow us on social media. So, thank you very much, guys. Really enjoyed it. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.